Hi, my name is Timing Long, and in this video, I will design the most six counter by using three JK flip flops. And as you can see in the multi seam circuit diagram, I'm using the 74LS76N JK flip flop. It has a active low clear, a active low clock, and active low presets, JK sockets, and then one output. Okay. So for normally, a uh, counter that made by three flip flop uh, can count on uh, counts up to eight sequences. But in our mode 6 counters, we only want it to count until 6. So what should we do? We will put a NAND gate here. Okay, we put a NAND gate here. So the purpose of the NAND gate is it will force the flip-flop to reset when the counter count until the 7 sequences. So when it touch the 7 sequence, the whole thing resets and then it count again from 0 until 5. So how is the counters works is uh, as this is the active low clock okay in this situation the flip flop have the active low clock so when this clock from when this clock is generate generating a low input and then the flip flop will turn will uh, convert this low input into a high output and then the high output will be transferred to the second flip flop as this second flip flop is also an active low clock so it will not generate a high output so this thing will not the second flip flop will not be triggered and then when the clock ticks so it will generate a high input so when the first flip flop uh, receives the high input as this is active low so it will emit low input so when the second flip flop receives the low input it will be triggered it will turn on and then it will emit the high output and then for the third flip flop it's also an active low clock so when it receive a high output from the second flip flop it will not generate any output so basically it will be like the so sequences will be like 1 0 0 and then 0 1 0 and then 0 1 1 as we follow the sequences we can conclude and we can make a truth table here so this is basically how the output of the counters will make so this is 8 sequence as you can see 1 until the 8 so you have 8 sequence but we are making a mode 6 counter so we only need until the 6 the 6 counts so when the sevens it reset and go back to this zero zero zero. So how do we make it? How do we make the whole counter reset? So as we can see, we see the seven. Okay, we want it to count until six sequence. So we see the seven sequence. Okay, it got the X three have high input and x2 have high input so in here okay we connect the x2 and the x3 output to the NAND gate and then the NAND gate the output of the NAND gate is connected to the clear so when this x2 and x3 emit the output it will trigger it will turn on this NAND gate and then the NAND gate will send out the low input to all these active low clear and then it will reset the flip-flop okay so the flip-flop 
will reset everything and the counter will count from 0 again. So basically, a 6 sequence, a mode 6 counter, it will count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to 5. Okay, so this is the truth table, and then we can start our demonstration. Okay, so we start our demonstration first is 0, 0, 0, yes, we can see. We haven't turned on, it's 0, 0, 0. And when we turn on, the first one, X1, light up, X1, light up. Okay. And then... Okay, so the, when the clock ticks, the X2 light up. So the X2 light up. So we can see X1 and X2. X3, yeah. Sorry. Okay, X3 and then X3 and X1. Yeah. So it count until X3 and X1 and Im immediately, okay? Uh not immediately, it delay like few milliseconds or nanosecond, I don't know. Okay? And it refresh into the first sequence. So this is how the mode 6 counter will act like. So this concludes my videos. And next, we I will design a mode 12 counter by using 4 flip-flop. And the same flip-flop is also JK flip-flop. It's, it's similar, but we need to add another one more flip-flop. Yeah. So this is conclude my video. Thank you.